man, listen, Troy, Troy has been a punk. Uh, he's threatened me over text messages. He, he's one of these dudes who it took him so long to get on that when he did get on, he was bitter. I don't know his, I don't know his story. I, I, I know his story. I've been around him. And what he was doing is once he got a little bit of buzz, he got a crew of dudes around him, one of which was Banger. And whoever he felt disrespected him, he would send Banger to go beat him up. I Love McConan, the gay rapper that was on OVO, said he didn't like Troy freestyling over his beat. Troy's like, oh, yeah, we're going to see you when you come to New York. He sent Banger to go beat him up on stage. He was on stage with Ray Shremmer. The video's out. Uh, a journalist that wrote a negative review about Troy got him beat up. Try to threaten me over text message. I don't give a fuck about that shit. So he was out there pushing the line, acting like a big bad gangster. And he ran in to one of the dudes that was talking shit about him and sent his man to go, to go fight him. And in the process, his man got killed. And then he goes and cooperates. But he's the one that, go, that, that sent him to go do it. And because of the way the laws, because I, I remember I, I was talking to the lawyer and everything else like that. Unfortunately, had this happened in Florida, it would have been stand your ground. But in New York, where you don't have a stand your ground, and in New York, you can't actually bring up the, the background of a victim who got killed. So they couldn't bring up all the history of this dude beating people up and everything else like that. Oh, so okay. it just looked like... You know what I mean? Okay. You Look see what I'm saying? Jurors, like it's just an so innocent. Like an innocent dude got got killed. Yeah. Not knowing this dude was beating people up. And look and listen. And I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? But had it happened this way, I'm sure from Taxone's point of view, it was like, yo, this dude's out here beating people up and assaulting people, stuff like that. I'm scared for my life. And I'm gonna protect myself. But unfortunately, that can't be brought up in, in court. Now, now he's facing 25 years. The other big problem that happened, and I spoke to his lawyer about this, is that uh, Taxstone had a had a phone in Rikers. Oh, okay. And they managed to intercept some of the messages on that phone, and in that message, there was some shit that he admitted to that he should not have admitted to. Oh, okay. He just got too comfortable with his phone. Mm. And, you know, as well as Casanova that was there, you know, made a phone call right after the incident and said, oh, you know, Taxstone just, you know, just let off. And the dude he was talking to was un was being watched by the feds and that phone call was recorded. Damn. And played to the jury. To me, that's crazy. For Casanova to be, have the background, because Casanova was, was in jail and, you know, he was, and we talked about he was a gangster and everything else like that. I can't imagine witnessing a crime, especially with someone who's my friend, and then calling up someone to tell them about the crime. Oh, Casanova was on the phone? Casanova called somebody to and told that dude what had just happened. Oh, And okay. the guy he called, he didn't know his phone was being tapped. Oh, okay. Damn, I'm phased, motherfucker. All the years you, the last 20 years you and I know each other, have me and you ever talked about crimes off camera? Mm. No. And I'm a civilian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Listen, me, me and Tax hung out for a whole year from the time that he got arrested, from the time the incident happened to the time he got arrested. Right when it happened, I called him up. I said, are you okay? He said, yeah, cool, that's it. I don't, that's it. That's the end of our conversation. I don't want to talk about shit else with you. I don't want nothing in a personal conversation, on a phone call, on a text message, nothing. Are you okay? If you're okay, I don't need it. I don't, I never asked him what the fuck happened to this day. But it's, it's a fucked up situation, man. 25 years. Twenty-five years, man. Think about how big Taxon would be right now. He'd be up there with Gillian Wallow and them. Yeah.
He was doing his thing. He was doing his thing. Yeah. He was pushing the line. And, you know what I'm saying? He, was, he wasn't he was scared. And let me tell you, Taxone was doing his thing to such a degree that he had talked a bunch of shit about Meek Mill. And Meek Mill ended up doing an interview with him afterwards. In his in his uh in his phantom. The the you know, the video's up on our YouTube channel now. That's how much people respected him. It's like, yeah, I understand that you you trash out, but I respect you so much that I'm still gonna Yeah, still fuck with you. Free tax stone, man. The the sentencing is, got pushed back to May something. It was supposed to already happen. Hopefully he'll get a lot less than twenty five. 